This is a very uh, recent book. Um, I think it was released this year, 2011, uh, by German artist Michael Schäfer. It's called Models. And uh, you might be a little bit familiar with what he's doing from the conversation I did with him on my blog. Go and look at the archives. So there's finally a book with this work. And I'm going to show you this book. So this says Models. This is the German title Vorbilder. Vorbild uh, means role model. Um, you can't really, this is actually using, it's a pun. The German word Bild means picture. So a Vorbild also is an image that comes before another image. It's a play on words. You can't do that in English. And uh, here we go. Okay, nothing will be the same as it as it was before. All right. <coughs> so these people are les acteurs, the actors. If I'm not mistaken, they are uh, Berlin high school students. Schaefer went to uh, high school and uh, grabbed a bunch of people and dressed them up and had them strike a pose. This book is a lot about poses. And you can see that when you look at this image there is everything is, is very Every little detail is, is, is being taken care of very carefully. You can, of course, you can tell that it's a young woman, but her pose is something that we're, we're very familiar with from the detail from portraits of uh, bankers, politicians, people who want to appear powerful. These are the kinds of poses that you run into. And you have to do this right. You see this in the portraits, even the facial expressions. You have to make sure that they're correct. The tilt of the head, you know, the jaw lines. Everything has to be perfect. So this book is basically about how photography speaks, or you could say how photography is used to convey a certain message. You see the famous, you know, you put your thumb under your chin, you show off your fancy watch. <coughs> you can um, I have the feeling that some of these pictures are a little Eurocentric, but you can just easily switch on TV or look into your newspaper or look online and, and see American politicians using certain mannerisms to project a certain image. Uh, for example, when Anthony Weiner resigned, there was the, of course, the, uh, you know, certain images that were just, uh, you know, printed on the front pages of newspapers where he adopted a post to show how sorry he was, all that kind of stuff. So once you're a little aware of how that works and how people use photography to convey messages, then a lot of the images you see in the media become sort of more transparent. So this is getting into the second part of the book now. Role models. Um, so this looks like it's just a small image, but there's a reason for that. Schaefer took images that he found in political magazines in Germany and then he recreated them. Let's just ignore this for a second. So this is a detail of of that image that you saw before. So you can see it's constructed. Um, some 
parts are taken from original images. You can see the pattern here, the printing pattern, and then of course there are people added in. Again, it's about poses, mannerisms. Here's a picture. That's the, I want to say original picture, except that it's not the original. This is Schaefer's recreation of a, of a newspaper photograph or of a magazine photograph where some two people are negotiating. The people in these recreations are not powerful people or politicians. They're just people that Schaefer plucked up from the street. He just went outside, looked for people, and whenever he found somebody he could use, or he thought would be useful in these photographs, he just got them. And then he recreated these images of well-known politicians. It looks, when you don't know the people, it, it starts to look absurd, what they're doing. If you imagine uh, a well-known politician, uh, politician in this picture, then maybe you wouldn't be surprised any longer to see this. And you can tell from these photographs that these creations that Schaefer studied the body language of these uh, people very carefully. It's all about power and it's about how images are used to convey certain things, which of course is very important in politics, uh, you know, in business. These are all just uh, little snippets from headlines and just cutting down headlines, describing political events. I haven't lived in Germany for a while, so I'm not very familiar with all of these situations. I have to say though that I did recognize quite a few of the people even though they are not the actual actors. They're just actors from the street. Judges from the Constitutional Court in Germany. I suppose it must be weird if you're walking down the street in Berlin and somebody asks you, can you pose for me? And then you're asked to strike these um, poses in a suit. There is this, this fakeness about a lot of these facial expressions when you look very carefully. Sideways. And that's the book, Michael Schäfer, Vorbilder, Models. It's a Photohof book, 2011. Um, it's a very smart book. You have to uh, read it very carefully and you have to look and the I think the main value of this book is that it will make you aware of some of, of, of how politicians and business people use photography or make sure that they appear in photographs in certain ways so that people think of them in, 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 in a very um, special way.